Welcome back people, Joe Housley here and we're on the channel again talking about how you can get cash whilst getting creative. We've got a little change of backdrop here, change of angle, we're going to switch things up a little bit but this time I'm going to speak to you about this little bad boy in this nifty little leather case here. Mm. We're talking vintage lenses. So this video we're going to be talking about vintage lenses or specifically a vintage lens, the Canon FD 1.4. Now this naughty little lens, this, this cheeky bad boy here, I've been using this lens for about six months now and it is one of my favourite lenses in in the world, in all the land. The lens was released in 1971. In 1971, I was just a figment of my mother's imagination, an apple ever I. I was negative, I was negative numbers. I, I didn't even exist. But this, this little fucker here, this, this was at work. Okay, so first things first, why on earth should you get one of these little bad boys? Well, they're actually, surprisingly, considering the fact that they came out nearly 50 years ago, a really high quality lens. And when you get started in filmmaking, a lot of the time you don't have a lot of money. We we certainly, me and my business partner, Connor, we started this business like two years ago. And when we did it, we were in our overdrafts and we had zero dough. But you're watching videos and you're seeing people out there and they've got these absolutely immense lenses with like stupid apertures on them. And you're like, oh. What's good about these little bad boys is they're absolutely cheap as chips. You can pick up one of these at a f-stop of 1.4 for about 50 to 100 quid max. Now this is this 50 mil I've shot on multiple client shoots. I've shot short films on it. There's one that I went up to the Peak District. I'll lay a little bit of the footage over here. It's manual focus, which to be quite honest, forced me to get better. It forced me to actually learn how to do manual focusing. It's also all manual. It's got this ASMR. That's how you change your aperture on it. Yeah, it's good. Why should you get one of these? When you get started, you don't have a lot of money a lot of the time. And you know, this channel is all about how you can get cash while getting creative. Now, I'm a big believer you shouldn't blame your tools, but if you don't have very good tools to start with, we started with a Canon 70D and you can make some nice stuff on it, but the big the big barrier is your tools sometimes in taking things from like a mediocre level to that high professional level. Now lenses are one of those things that cost an absolute arm and a leg to get the high quality ones, but this to knock you back like 50 to 100 quid will give you footage out of it on a half decent camera which looks so cinematic you wouldn't even believe. Even though this lens is 50 years old, it still performs really, really well. Right now I'm shooting on the Sony a7 III. I've slapped this with a little adapter. I'll give you a link to the adapter in the description. They're a company called Go, but it only costs about 20 quid to get one. The footage looks really cinematic. It looks really high quality. It has this kind of cool, I don't even know how to describe it, like the vintage look to it just looks sick. So the two key reasons why you should get this little, little nifty bad boy, one, the cost versus the quality of the deliverables of content that it gives you off the back of it. I mean, obviously you need to learn how to use it, but it it gives a really, really high quality deliverable versus the cost. And we're all about getting cash whilst getting creative. And that also means not spending so much and so you can make more and then you can use that to invest in better, better, better gear. But you don't always have the cash there in the first place. So this is how you can charge more for a video because it's going to have a higher quality deliverable but not have to pay as much for a lens and the second reason which i think is a really important reason is it's going to force you to get better it's going to force you to learn how to use manual focus now this is something that i kind of like i relied on autofocus quite a lot i'm not going to lie because it's just there it's easy you just press it and bang you've got it but manually focusing actually can help you get so many more better shots, you know, things actually coming into focus, rack focus shots and all that kind of jazz that 
it's really good to just have those skills and having a lens like this and going out and creating with it is going to help you get a grasp on that. Okay, that's it for this week, people. If you liked this video and you thought it was of some value, I'd be really grateful if you'd be open-minded to drop in a little subscribe on there, a little like, leave me a comment, let me know what you'd like me to cover in other videos, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.